Hello, Mr. Bug. Yeah, see, that's Oh, he just pushed me out of the way? It doesn't Aww, hurt me. That's adorable. There's a little hat. I can dance. That's so cute. I'm in a hole. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, he's like a little bug. Nobody's Welcome back to another episode of Mario Odyssey. Where's my controller? Here's my controller. You told me to put it down so I couldn't make progress. No, I said pause it. Well, I took that as don't do anything with the controller because I'm going to do something with the controller and make progress. I found you. So, well, let's go back to you saying you want a dolphin as a pet. <laughs> so what, are you going to get us make SeaWorld in, the, in your backyard so that I keep it? Why the fuck not? Because that's inhumane. Garbage. No, it's not. Yeah, these animals need, need like lots of room and space to graze and fucking not have psychological trauma. I will love it. That's not what they need. They don't need human love. I'll give it another dolphin. That's like an alien just like taking us from like the earth and being like, look, I'm gonna put it in this prison. I'll... I love it though. I'll give it dolphin love then. No, it doesn't need dolphin love. It needs other dolphins and it needs the whole entire ocean to be free and exist and not be stressed Then I'll live out. on an ocean. Have you ever been to a zoo? I've lived you in the been ocean to, like, before. Sea World? No. How shitty those conditions are for the animals? No. It's terrible. And PETA will be on your ass like immediately. They won't know. It'll be the little dolphin. It's not like we live in fucking. Well, what was that place called? Uh, Utah? No, this is a place in like South Florida. Uh, they have it in Houston too. But. Uh, the dolphin sanctuary thing. What? And, uh, they have a dolphin sanctuary? The, the Keys. The Keys. The Florida Keys. They they have like dolphin shit over there. But like that's that's like a whole facility. And like the ocean is right there. You know. You're gonna like dig out a city wide fucking pool. And put a dolphin in it. Yes. <laughs> Who said I won't? That's so impractical. You can just get a hamster. <laughs> you think I want a hamster? My goals are too large for you to ever understand. <laughs> Your feeble mind can. Your understand. feeble mind cannot possibly understand my need for a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Your, need. Your need for a dolphin. Yes, sir. I oh yeah, humans have four basic needs: <laughs> food, water, shelter, sex. Uh, but Zix apparently has a fifth one: <laughs> dolphins. Dolphins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six, one of Zix's human needs is a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know? Everyone. Explain, explain the countless times you referred to birds as dolphins. No, I exclusively <laughs> tell everybody that dolphins are not birds. <laughs> no, but whenever you see a bird out in the street, like in your daily life, I just life, don't see that. You just point at it. No. You're like, ooh, a dolphin. <laughs> no, I don't. I just don't look at birds anymore. They have forsaken me. Birds are drones. You know that, right? Like, they sit on the wire poles and they How the they fuck don't they get excused? They recharge. Excused? Electrocuted. Because they recharge. Exactly. That's what my car does at school. Those birds are hybrids. They're powered by diesel and they recharge on the electric Is that why gas fly is so expensive? That's why they fly in a V formation. Because it eliminates draft. What? Yeah. I think that's just... And they're, sending, they're, they're following the, the radio waves. In the pattern that it forms. Yeah. I think you're going insane. Just throw a bunch of like random science shit <laughs> that has nothing to do with each other. <laughs> and then people will believe you. Oh fuck, yeah. Cappy, no. I want to get that moon. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, you win. The minimum wage will be $25 an hour. <laughs> Sets up 50 alarms to make sure I go to work. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I can't. I can't even do that. I fall asleep on my good ear and then bye bye <laughs> i don't get to wake up i'll set an alarm because i have to wake up super early to pick up my girl sometimes mm -hmm. uh, so i set i start my alarms at 4 30 mm -hmm. and sometimes i get lucky and i wake up at 4 30 i get to get ready and have time to eat consume uh relax Consu consume a hamster no not a hamster <laughs> 
A dolphin. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh huh. Is that why you need a dolphin? You're gonna eat it? Yeah, every day. Jesus Christ. Every day? A dolphin a day? Yeah, I've gotten through like 30 already. Jesus Christ. I've only been alive for 30 days. You hear that, Peter? <laughs> I like I like pita bread. You absorb the energy of the dolphins. <laughs> I am the dolphins. Look, Steve really didn't understand modern technology, did he? First, he tried to hear Tony's heartbeat through his armor, and then he tried to choke a robot. <laughs> 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 In Avengers: <laughs> Age of Ultron, he fucking tried to choke out Ultron. Well. Did it work? No. <laughs> of course it fucking didn't. Um. What? The what? floor was there. It wasn't. It was not. It wasn't. Remember when everyone was, was convinced that Iron Man was going to show up in Black Widow? <sighs> Did you hear about that? I never fucking nope. heard about that. Why am I doing the same thing? What was your thoughts on Black Widow? She's, the movie. She's pretty. The movie. Oh. She sued Disney. Well, yeah, what do you think about the movie? I think it was a good movie. Where would you Could rank it? Better. Like amongst others. It definitely wasn't better. I like the I like the Elena very much. The what? Yelena. Yelena. Oh, the sister. The sister. Oh, she was so cute. She was so funny. She's so pretty. Yeah, that too. Oh but my God. she was also so fun. You like my jacket? No, my vest. Look at my vest. What? She Look at my vest. Don't you think it's cool? What vest? All I see is you dying because you're an idiot. Dude, I'm talking about Yelena. Huh? From Black Widow. Dude, I haven't seen that movie in months. Why would I understand an esoteric quote that has nothing to do with the plot? <laughs> like, what? It was one of her... Her vest. What vest? Her cool vest. Why the fuck would I remember that? <laughs> because it was a line in the movie that was very cool and fun. If this was Thor Ragnarok we were talking about, yeah, I'd probably remember what Korg said, but like, this is a character who I didn't remember what their name was. Yeah, like, I remember. <laughs> this is a character I haven't thought of since I watched the movie. <laughs> what an odd stone. That sounds like me in the morning at 12 o'clock. An odd stone? Yeah, when I take a shit in the toilet. <laughs> what? Well, thanks for that information. Yeah. <laughs> Stones are like kidneys. How, sir? You can get kidney stones. Um. I did a backflip. That doesn't correlate with anything that you just said. <laughs> I never correlate. Those have nothing to do with each other. I don't like coral. Those are just loosely connected sentences. <laughs> Loosely. Hey, that's that's a start. How did I get so high up into the air? Hey, look at this. Don't that horse be like, I gotcha, homie. Watch this. <laughs> it's just this this, <laughs> <laughs> this guy who's recording like off the the horse behind him. That's like running after the other horses in front, and a girl is riding it, and her boobs are just like jiggle physics. They're everywhere. just like jiggle physics exist. Let me physics. Okay, okay, I got this. I'm gonna get that fucking moon. Okay, to how? I don't know. How are you no. gonna do it? The way that makes sure that you survive, and it takes like maybe two attempts, or the way that takes you twenty, and you look like an idiot. I don't know how else to do it. <laughs> By playing the Mario game. <laughs> Fuck Mario. Like this is the first time you've seen this game. But I've seen it so many other Just times. Just because you want to be Alpha Red doesn't mean you are. Doesn't mean you're Joe Sniffy with the fucking speedrunner tactics. You're Aaron from Game Grumps at best. <laughs> okay. We're halfway there. Where? Oh, I was about to sing. Never mind. We can't We're sing. Halfway. No. Shut up. I can we sing can't soft. sing. We no, can you sing can't. soft. You can't. Why? Copyright. IPs. Oh. We're doing YouTube, for fuck's sake. Did you forget? No. <laughs> yes, actually.
<laughs> I can sing. I can. I have the. Ob- this isn't Footloose. We're the equivalent of no dancing is singing here. <laughs> This you isn't Mouth Loose. <laughs> <laughs> what did Mouth Loose get you? <laughs> Laugh towards the mic. <laughs> no, that'll mic the spike. That will... <laughs> Shut up. We're done. That will mic the spike. We're halfway through the video. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're done. We're done talking about this. <laughs> oh, that was almost cool. Oh my god, dude. I need one more moon star. Uh, oh, let me let me read the memes I sent today. These are fucking hilarious. I don't know if like anyone in our audience knows about the MBTI test. Does anybody know about typing. memes? No, no one knows about memes. This well, is brand new. Oh my god, I read a, a meme. With. I read a meme. A meme? Early, a meme? A meme? I read one of those earlier today. What? And it was like, what if in like 70... Can I not? What if what? What if in like 70 years... Um, memes are branded illegal, and then there's like meme dealers, and then life would be memingless. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Those are, that's one of the, you know, honestly, it should be rare, but it's not rare. Jokes where it's too clever to be funny, and it's kind of stupid. <laughs> 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 it's kind of stupid. Yeah. Your wordplay isn't funny. <laughs> so true. Um, it Here. sounds like me on acid. Here's for INFP. I don't do acid. The strongest part of the human body is the jaw. And the weakest part is my will to live. <laughs> Those are INFP types. <laughs> Those uh, are like introverts. Uh, don't let being a dumb bitch keep you from reaching your dreams. ENTJ. <laughs> it's fucking true. <laughs> Oh, this was my favorite. <laughs> the croc sags? Yeah. Soul? Soul? There's, there's Soul. holes in my croc so my swag can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Kingdom. ESFP. Um, 420 looks like it's time to praise Jesus. I only inhale the Holy Spirit. <laughs> ISTP. <laughs> time flies when you don't know what the fuck is going on. I am J. <laughs> fucking me i'm not an infj um i don't work better under pressure it's just the only time i'll work enfp that's, <laughs> that's you. me that's zix he's enfp uh comment down below what you think i am and why is it entp because that's what i am but comment down below what you think i am <laughs> perfect <laughs> is that why we get along what because we're literally one letter off. No, because you have a lot of feels and I have a lot of thinkings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. A lot of thinkies. A lot of thinkies. <laughs> and you have a lot of feelings. <laughs> but I we, feel. We don't judge. We're not judges. I don't judge. We perceive. I we perceive, perceive all the bullshit that others, that other people throw at us instead of judging them for it. Because we're like, look, I'm not going to judge you. I'm but pretty it's shit. There. I'm pretty shit myself. I perceive that you're shit, but I'm not gonna judge you for it. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> We're both extroverts, even though Zix over here is camera shy. No, I'm not. I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm doing good boy. Th- oh fuck! I died. Oh, how the fuck did a little bug kill a tank? My Please explain. God, you will. Ha- why is an uh, elephant afraid of a mice? Uh, Cause it's small. Well, why is six exactly. afraid of seven? Huh? Stupid. Because Answer me that. Seven Stupid. came after six. Stu- <laughs> Were you not ready for that eloquent what <laughs> logical sense? Is he wearing a pumpkin? Oh no, he's just a normal person. That's just a normal fucking guy. See, this is like the line that like blurs this shit for me. This is a city where like there's normal humans. And they're taller. This than is Mario. the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm world. gonna be. I'm gonna this be is naked. the world where the Can't Mushroom Kingdom naked. is, where Mario was a normal human but came into this dimension that made him that way. So this dimension already had normal humans in it. So if if that dude that's talking right now, that's wearing all those fucking hats, went into a pipe and came out to the other side of Brooklyn like Mario was in 
before he came to the Mushroom Kingdom, would he look like Mario in our world? Would he be like a little chibi character? You think? Whoa. I think so. <laughs> I think that these are people Mario people. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, like Mar- if- Mario's a colonizer. What? Mario's not from this world, from this like dimension, the Mushroom Kingdom dimension, but like he's so ubiquitous in it, like you claim that this world is him, is his, even though he's a foreigner. What? So it's kind of like the British Kingdom when they like they came to America and then wait. They, so they established, is Mono like, is Mono is Mon is Mon is, Mon is Monopoly. Fuck what? Mario is Mario is Mario canonically He's Brooklyn. Italian. He's what? Is he canonically from Brooklyn? Like he came from Brooklyn? No, he was working in Brooklyn, but he's like an Italian immigrant. So what does he look like in Brooklyn? Like a normal fucking Italian. Like a normal person? Like the Mario Bros. movie. You. The, the live action movie that's like... You mean Chris Pratt? No, he's not Chris Pratt. And Chris Pratt's the voice actor. He doesn't actually... He's not gonna play actual What? Mario. No! Yeah, he's a voice actor. I think the movie's like animated. No. He's the voice actor. That makes me sad. They didn't say he was the actor. That Do you think Jack Black was just gonna play Bowser? <laughs> like, you're yes. just gonna see Jack Black be like... However tall he is. And then Chris Pratt, like, towering over him as Mario. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Obviously. How tall is Jack Black? 2'7". Jack seven. Black's height. He's 5'6". <gasps> Holy shit, you're taller than Jack Black. I'm taller than Jack Black. Holy shit, let's see if you're taller than Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, his height is 7'3". 6'2". Did that fuck your mind? <laughs> Just I was like, excuse me? <laughs> He's 6'2". Chris Hemsworth is 6'3". And Chris Evans is 6'2". Six. Six wow, what a loser. They're so losers. David Batista is 6'4". What? How did they Drax do that? Drax is taller than... Star-Lord. Well, yeah, but Drax is taller than Thor. They did not portray it that way in the movie. No, they did not. I always thought Drax was, like, shorter. <laughs> Holy shit. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe, maybe they have special shoes. I know, like, Robert Downey Jr. is 5'9", and he wears, like, kind of, like, heeled shoes. So he could like appear to be the same height as like Captain America, Chris Evans. Uh -huh. So like whenever. Well, he used to because he's dead now. None of them have died in real life. Okay. We're talking about the actors, not the characters. Iron Man is dead. Yeah, Iron Man's dead. So is Captain America. No, Captain America's just old. Mm, I'd say he's dead by now. He's probably dead. I saw this post that that um basically described so Steve Rogers went back in time to be with Peggy and yes. then he was like he saw like all the the civil rights um, movements and like the differences in like our uh, like current time Marvel and then when he came back he like was an advocate for it and he like he wasn't like seeking out through violence or anything he was just like being a chill guy and like being really open and social um and like moving towards like civil rights and shit and treating people fairly and like he became very friendly and very neighborly and maybe he started his own show I missed and then the he dropped the steam from his sure. name rogers? And he was like mr rogers and he was mr rogers trying to teach people to be more neighborly be more respectful of other races be more open-minded. Uh, Mr. Steve this Rogers over. is Mr. Rogers. This video's over. <gasps> Dude, <laughs> right? What if he was? Steve Rogers became Mr. Rogers. Who's Mr. Rogers played by? Mr. Rogers is a real-life person. That is his actual name. Mr. Rogers. Fred, Fred Rogers. Mr. Rogers. American okay. television host. Oh, wait, that is a real person. It is. His name is Fred Rogers. Hmm. You didn't believe me when I said? Nope. He looks like Captain America. I know, right? He's Fred. Kind of. like, he, he looks He's like the Mr. old one. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> He's Mr. Rogers. Get off of me. 
He looked so like <laughs> in the end of Endgame, they show like old Captain America. Yeah, right. That's like, exactly what he that looks like. That was the post that I saw. I, like compared that to like his look. He literally is Mister Rogers. James Bird Rogers. Mister oh, Rogers. No, stop. <laughs> this video is over. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. If you want to watch more, click on the next video or click on the playlist to watch all of our videos in this series. Thank you guys for I've watching. I've that many times that I only have 80 coins. Peace.